Christian, it was almost exactly a year to the day that you and I did an interview at the Atlanta Super Bowl. A lot has happened in that year, huh? Yeah, so much has happened, so much. But I'm just happy to be here again, speaking to you. Um, it's been a it's been a crazy year. Um, probably I couldn't have imagined it any other way. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're able to, was able to get onto the field, get a couple of snaps, scored a touchdown, made some plays. Yeah. Um, How good then, did you feel after that when you know preseason and, and not just making some plays, but making plays that everybody everyone was talking about. I mean, the whole NFL yeah. was talking about it. Yeah, it was crazy. I, I, it was kind of like a fairy tale. Yeah. It's not really an ending, fairy tale beginning, really. Um, the the reaction from my teammates to just like how everyone received it on on the internet, and it's just been incredible. Just the amount of encouragement I've had throughout the season. Um, obviously, the the running back room that we have, the players I have around me that were all encouraging and and really help helpful in my my development and learning the game and knowing the plays and stuff. It's just been a an incredible year and, and and the bills is probably like the best organization that i could have could have uh, gone to to try and learn my craft how so just the whole setup from uh, my owners kim and terry pagula um investing whatever investing however much money we need in terms of facilities i believe we have the best facilities in the in the league um then just the way we travel the the culture that's been created obviously by us as a team but it's been driven by um, by Coach McDermott, and in the way that all the other coaches underneath him, um, how they treat us as players, how they look after us, has just the way they coach us. It's just just the whole environment. It's just you, you, everyone's thriving. Everyone wants to do well, and um, it's just yeah, it's just a, a great a great place to be. Phoebe Schechter is a, a regular on our yeah. show, someone you know well. She talks about that energy in the place. Yeah, it's that. different. Yeah, and it's a perfect place for you to be. And I remember we spoke, as I said, the Super Bowl, then we chatted as you were getting into training camp and mm -hmm. later on in the year, and you're talking about the different challenges transitioning from one sport to another. How do you feel you dealt with those challenges? And do you, did anything come up that was maybe unexpected that you hadn't foreseen? How's, how's the year gone as a, as a player, as an athlete, in terms of switching lanes? Um, it's, it's been, uh, it's definitely been like a whirlwind, like a lot of ups and downs, like if I'm being honest, in terms of just sometimes you wake up really early and like, oh, it's the, like the, our days are so long, we have um, so many meetings, more meetings than I'm used to. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm on the board of directors. <laughs> A huge Pussy 500 company. Yeah, yeah, a huge firm. Um, just meetings after meetings after meetings. But that's that's the that's the name of the game. Like, there's so much detail that goes into it, and I've definitely um, developed like a new level of respect for players before me. Players who are in the league, pe people who have been playing for 15 years, like Frank Gore. Mm. It's just this game's different. Like, it's not for everyone. You do really have to love football and enjoy it, and you do have to be a scholar of the game to be a anywhere near successful. So those guys out there about to play the Super Bowl, like I know this has been a long season for them, and um, yeah, it's just it's just a, it's just it's just a, it's a crazy sport, but I love it. It's, well, enjoying it is the number one thing, right? Yeah. And so what next? So the, the Bills obviously keen to keep you in the mix, and I guess ambition. And there was talk that you were going to make the 53-man roster. It going to last season so that's got to mm. be the number one objective right oh yeah for sure like my, my whole plan is to make the 53 um, I wouldn't have it like any other way or ha wouldn't have a different mindset whatsoever um, I'm definitely going to be just keep working my butt off um, keep keep working keep trying to learn the game keep trying to develop uh, my understanding of the plays and uh, just, just keep putting myself in the best position I can talk about the partnership with Josh Allen and the arm that he's got and the mm -hmm. speed that you've got I've heard some theories that you look at how McCall Harmon's working out at the Chiefs that that could be a really interesting role for you yeah it's um it's definitely like scope for me to be able to try to find like my my uh position in the team because that's mm. that's obviously where you have to there's so many different players on the field um you got different coaches and different ways of playing and stuff. So you, I guess it's kind of for the coaches and for the players to kind of find their way um, and what they actually bring into the team and what's gonna what's gonna help the team to win. Because that's what that's what it's all about at the end of the day. How are we gonna win 
what what how are we going to use our players to to make that happen so i think just me just keep doing my work um keep learning the game and stuff we'll try and find a way to to get me in the team or i'll try and find a way to make myself an option and um yeah just just see really i've got i know i can catch i can run i've got footwork um my my biggest downfall is that I've only been playing for a year. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's been a fast a fast track year, hasn't it? Oh yeah, for sure. What about the Bills Mafia? I mean, the Ooh. Bills fans were really behind you, uh, and are really behind you, but were particularly because of what you were doing in preseason. The Bills Mafia. How do they compare to to football fans back home? Um, football fans back home obviously is are, are, are wild, but I feel I feel like they've calmed down a bit. You know. Yeah, the game's obviously, changed. There's a lot yeah. of. Uh, there's a lot of trouble back in the day and stuff, so it's calmed down. Um, football fans in America are just wild. Uh, well, we have the best fans in the world. The Bill, Bills Mafia, definitely the best fans. They're just crazy throwing people through tables, although they've calmed down with that because there's been obviously a lot of injuries. And, right. Um, the emergency room was, was overflowing Too with uh, Bills fans, so they had to uh, <laughs> switch that up. Um, but yeah, they've got the, the ketchup and mustard man. He stands there and someone, everyone's just squirting ketchup and mustard all over him and his beard. Um, how, did he, how did he get that gig? How did that, who decided I have that? No, yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I just remember seeing him on YouTube and then flying over to Buffalo, obviously to be with the team and stuff and then seeing it in, in real life. I was like, this is actually crazy. I don't, right. I don't know how someone came up with it, but it's just a big party. Tailgate is, Tailgating is like huge over here, so yeah, yeah, they just want to have fun, and whether it's rain, sun, sleet, snow, they're always out there they're doing the it. same yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like we're in a brilliant situation, and yeah. you know, as I say to each time I chat to you, everybody at home rooting for you, fully behind you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube, and for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app, and for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.